Welcome to the 30 and 5 on 560WIND.com. It's all sports today, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, the Ryder Cup. Davis Love the third. The beleaguered captain of the worst collapse in golf history. Now, people are going to say, well, in Brookline, uh, you know, in 1999, the U.S. came back and won. That was at Brookline. Europe did it on the road with American flags, people cheering. And how do you have Jim Furyk, Steve Stricker, and Tiger Woods, who had a combined record of, I think, 0-9 going in as your top, as your last three guys? How do you take your worst three golfers? I don't care what their reputation is. Okay? Stricker, to me, shouldn't have even been on the team. Furick, he's had an okay year, but he bogeyed twice yesterday on 17 and 18. Just choked. And, and by the way, when did Jim Furick take 10 minutes to putt? He analyzed that putt. I knew he was going to miss. I knew he was going to miss. Jason Duffner should have been the anchor man. He was our best golfer. You got Zach Johnson. Are you kidding me? Phil Mickelson. And then Davis Love sits. Keegan Bradley and Phil Mickelson. Because Phil Mickelson, who gave the thumbs up to his opponent yesterday when he had a chip shot, says, we're pretty spent. We're going to be tired. First of all, Keegan Bradley never said that. Phil Mickelson, as a competitor, as a competitor, one of the worst I've ever seen in golf. His talent carries him in certain matches, but my God, you win three in a row. That's like throwing three sevens on the crap table. Going, yeah, yeah. Okay, you throw now. You are 3-0, and and you want to sit? You just sealed your fate with me. I'm telling you the truth. And speaking of sealing their fate, the Chicago White Sox go along with the Ryder Cup. Bad, bad weekend in Illinois, okay? First of all, congratulations on the Ryder Cup. Medina did a tremendous job. They really, really did. The White Sox, didn't we all have that feeling? I heard there was like a 1,000 people maybe at the game. I mean, that's pitiful. They have a lot of things. And Captain Paul Knurkle, how dare he say we had a good year? You're winning for five months. You know why he's saying that? Because he underperformed the second half of the season. Period. In the meantime, all the Cubs are saying they love Dale's fame. Nothing's changed. The Bears play the Cowboys tonight. All right? I love my Chicago Bears. Go get them, boys. Hey, give us something to cheer about. Hey, you've been listening to 30 at 5 at 560, WIND.com.